Over the years, I've had quite a few clients that have ended up getting cortisone injections for a variety of different kinds of injuries. And quite often they come back and they feel better and it helped. And sometimes they come back and it really didn't do all that much of anything and they continue on and get some PT and that usually helps. But the question lies there is, should they just go ahead and go get the cortisone shot first off right out of the gates to see it helps or not before they start putting all the time and energy into physical therapy? And I didn't really know what the answer was because I didn't know if there actually was any harm in it or not. It didn't appear to be, but I didn't know until recently. I actually came across an article in a journal and I was reading about it and it talked about the study. And in the study, they actually compared a group of people that got cortisone injections versus a placebo injection to treat tennis elbow. And what it showed is that after four weeks of getting the injections, the cortisone group was in a much better place. They felt a lot better compared to the placebo group. Not that, not that surprising, right? But then there was another group that had physical therapy. They were also recipients of the placebo shot, but they did PT. And what's interesting is that group was faring just as well as the group who got the cortisone injection, all at four weeks. Now, where things started to really shift, though, is when you look a year out. So they checked in with these patients a year after getting the shots. And what they showed was that the people who had gotten the cortisone injections actually higher, had a higher re-injury rate than the people who got placebo injections. So that starts giving me a solid answer, right? If pretty much, like if you get the injection, you're more likely to get re-injured in the future than if you don't. That's interesting. Now, there's also the group that got the PT and a placebo injection, and they looked at them a year out, and they were in even far better shape than anybody else. Now, this is just about tennis elbow, but it then made me start thinking about other injury sites that people get injections for. So I did a little bit more research, and I came up with some other different studies that they have out there, and pretty much universally across the board, it was the same thing. Whatever your injury is and whatever you're getting the shot for, it definitely works for pain relief in the short term. But in the long term, you're in a, less, you're in a worse place if you got the injection than if you didn't. And the best thing you can do is go get some good physical therapy. So where does that leave you now? So really it just leaves you in a place where you've got some good information. So at least now you know that there are some long-term repercussions to getting the cortisone injection. And it makes you think, okay, am I ready to put the time and effort into getting some physical therapy? Because it's definitely, if you leave an active life and you want to keep your body in as good a shape as possible, I have to say it's probably worth getting the PT and doing the extra work and getting putting the time in rather than getting the simple shot. But you also have a current life that's going on right now and you just need to take into consideration what's going on right now and what is that pain going to interfere with and is the trade-off worth like the long-term risks of getting that cortisone injection. Is it worth it for the short term? And I think a lot of people don't necessarily Look at, the, look at the decision to get the injection through that lens, and I think it's a really important one. And I just wanted to arm you with that information. I hope the information that I gave you in this video was useful. And if you're currently an active man over 50 that wants to stay in the game, even if you're starting to feel a little bit over the hill, I'm Jamie Dreyer, and I am definitely your coach. Talk to you next time. I hope you found the information in this video useful, and if you can think of anybody else that might benefit from it, please go ahead and share it. That'd be really fantastic, and I appreciate being spread around. That sounds wrong.